Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Eric Satie, whose music we're listening to, is responsible in a way for what we would call Muzak. He called it, in 1917, furniture music. And it was a new idea of his. Uh, he had a number. But this was one where he uh, expected the audience, told the audience, not to stop what they were doing when the music started. Um, if they were chatting or eating or just mingling, um, they were to keep doing that because the music was not intended to be listened to. It was intended just to provide the the furnishing, the background um, to whatever was going on. Of course, this is used a lot now in shops. Um, music is played in the background to try and get, put it in a certain mood. Um, advertisers use uh, music which they think will uh, create a, a positive response. We often, many of us will put music on in our homes, not necessarily because we want to listen to it, sit down on it and specifically concentrate on it, but because it will change our mood. It will either lift us up or calm us down, um, whatever we feel we need, and music can help that happen. And so today I'm going to celebrate the influence of music and the joy of music and the way in which music can, can help us with our lives, but also to celebrate the music that we do listen to. Uh, I, I'm just always amazed at the ability of people to write songs or to compose music. Uh, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful gift, and uh, a gift which we nearly all of us enjoy. We will all have very different tastes, and the things that we really enjoy will be different for each of us. But whatever the kind of music you like today, why don't you join me? in celebrating it.